guys good morning welcome back to another vlog today is now monday um i didn't get to vlog last week because i have been like coming down with a cold i'm still kind of recovering not really recovering it's kind of ongoing um I did get checked, it's not COVID or anything, but I just have not been feeling my best. Um, I've just been, you know, trying to stay healthy, but I have been pretty active on Instagram anyways. There's not much talking necessary for that. So I've been on Instagram, but starting off a new vlog today, I'm actually on my way right now to get my lashes done. Oh, guys, also, I promised you guys I would be doing a haul. I should have did it last week. On top of me being sick, I didn't get to do it last week. But I guess the main reason why I didn't do it is because my lashes have just been looking atrocious. As you can see, this eye is, she's full. She's doing a lot. This eye, she has two lashes like hanging by a thread. So that's why basically I didn't really do that haul, but that haul should be out before this video. I really hope you guys like it. I have um, compiled basically all the new stuff that I bought and I think you guys will really like it. It's like affordable, but also still looks good. Oh my God, I'm gonna be sniffling throughout this whole thing. Anyways, I need to run. I need to go get my lashes done. Um, this is what I'm looking like right now. My skin is also doing really well and it's just because of the new skincare that I've been using, yours. I actually just love my skin. As you can see, I'm not even oily and I've been working all day. Like this is my skin, this is crazy. Um, but yeah, so gonna run out. I'll see you guys a little bit later. So guys, I'm back now from the lash lady. As you can see, I don't look that different. Um, I am going to someone new just because I'm looking for a more natural look. Um, I think this look that she gave me is a little bit even too natural. Um, it's a lot shorter than normally what I would get, but I do like how she did the lashes. Let me just pull up. So hers are like really, really fluffy as you can see, um, but it's not as long as I normally would get my lashes, but I still love the result. Let me give you guys like a top down type of look. I think she did a really great job. She paid attention to my lashes. Um, what we did was actually remove the last lash, cleaned my lashes, and then applied on this new batch, which I absolutely love. Like I said, it's like really fluffy and I like that. So the next time I go to her, I'm gonna try to make her make it longer just because i think it is too short for my big eyes let me look at it in the mirror i think it's just a little bit too short for my face so i'm just gonna have her do it longer but other than that i really love the results and yeah i'm trying to go in a little bit more natural way so that's kind of why i switched lash ladies uh, yeah just want to give you guys the update on my lashes just had to get really comfortable on the couch um so i wanted to also give you guys an update on the hair links extensions because i don't want to leave you guys hanging i did mention it so i think it was like two or three vlogs ago i basically said that i was going to be getting the hair links and what do you guys think about hair links and whatever i got really good reviews from you guys also some people saying no they like my hair um in the end i had decided that i wanted to still get the hair links um, and I told you guys I found this woman. She is um, black as well. She owns her own shop. I really loved her shop and everything. Um, and I had the appointment actually set up to go get the hair links. And then like literally the day before, she was just like, oh, I just need to double check that the hair that we have actually can match your hair. So I already went there and I tried out the hair and the hair matched my hair. It was basically, unfortunately, like Caucasian hair. Um, and so the hair didn't match my hair when it was straight but when you obviously wash the hair it gets you know it's still straight and my hair is curly um and so she was just scared that it's actually not a good mixture to have like that straight hair with my curly hair because when it's wet it's not going to match at all which is understandable um her only other alternative was still like caucasian curly hair and i saw that the first day that i went to go try out you know see if the hair would match and i was like no because the hair was still like these it was like a fake looking curly it does not match my hair at all like that was the only curly hair that she had um and so after she checked with her vendor or whatever they were just like yeah no she can't get that straight hair because it just doesn't match her hair the only option for her to get is um like a sew-in or if i was gonna use that curly hair that she had which is not for or black people unfortunately so in the end I, I'm not getting hair links I think it was maybe even a sign from God like just rock your natural hair don't do that um so i'm not doing that unfortunately i was really excited about it and i was ready to pay and ready to sit down and ready to have like long bouncy hair but then in the end like she has no hair that matches my hair and it's like this is why i don't go to salons here in germany this is exactly why because she is 
black you know and she runs her own salon but still like I, i'm not downplaying her salon or her work but it's like the stuff that she does there does not even cater a little bit the variety it does not cater to people who are not white you know it was just like a whole business catered to um i would say caucasian people and the only thing that she really could do for me was just like a sew-in or like braids or something like that which is not what i was looking for at the time i'm looking for hair links and hair links are it's possible for black poc people it's possible like it's not anything crazy all she needed was the hair type and she just did not have the hair type which was unfortunate um but it's like the same issue why why i just do my own hair this is why i just do my own hair because all the salons here just no one caters to you as a black woman no one caters to me and i've looked in salons i've peeked i tried to look for you know black salons um i think she is from african descent so i, I look to african salons and it's like nobody can do what i want them to do and if they do do it they only do it for a certain crowd and it's just not really inclusive and that's just the main reasons why i just do my own stuff i just do my own stuff i feel like this could even be a business venture for me to just open up something that can cater to um non-white clients because it's not like it's impossible i mean look at the u.s but i guess I can be a devil's advocate and say that in the US there is more POC people, okay? So maybe that's an argument, but it's not like this stuff cannot be done. I mean, in the US it's done all the time. Girls are having their hair slayed. In um, the Netherlands it's the same thing. I guess France as well it's the same thing. I guess it's just because they have a larger number of POC, but I don't even know if that statistically is right because what I'm seeing in Germany and from my comments it's a lot of POC women. Every other day I'm getting questions about like, okay, so where do you do your hair? I'm moving from here to Germany and I want to get my hair done. Do you know any like good salons who could do like a good blowout or do this and that and I can never give good recommendations because the people here just don't do what they should be like what they cannot cater to you unfortunately um but that was like a long rant um and I just wanted to update you guys on what's happening with the hair links they're not happening and I think I won't do it anyways it was actually quite pricey so I'm glad that I could save the money but I did really want it but forget it whatever um I'm gonna go make a tea and just rest up for the rest of the day and I'll see you guys tomorrow if you are living in Germany like let's all try to help each other i keep saying this like let's try to make this a forum my channel and my comment section let's try to make it a forum to help other people out so i am still looking for a hairstylist just someone who could just do a basic blowout like it's just a basic blowout just a basic silk press like sometimes i don't want to do my hair i just want to get it done if you know someone in southern germany northern germany wherever just drop their name drop their link because there are so many people who are looking for this type of information like myself and cannot seem to find someone reliable i really thought i found someone but they don't cater to me so good morning happy tuesday i just finished finally finally filming the try and haul that i've been promising you guys so today somehow i magically felt so much better i don't know if it was the tea or if it was the hauls the mints that i was taking or my vitamin c but all of a sudden i feel really so much better my voice is still a little bit scratchy but i am not having the sniffles anymore so i think i'm good enough to finish off this vlog for one second i was like damn i don't know if i can finish off this vlog because i don't know if i feel good enough but i actually feel a lot better and i will continue today i actually finally filmed that haul that i promised you guys i will include some clips here just to give you guys a little teaser if you haven't already seen it it should be out already and i filmed that on my new canon i just hope that it comes out good i actually haven't even looked at it yet the footage but i really Really, really really love the pieces you guys have been asking and asking where do I get this where do I get that and I felt bad but I really didn't want to just send everybody like oh I got this I got that I just wanted to compile everything in one video so that the questions don't always come up on top of filming that it 
felt just so good to like put on makeup and, you know, and get pretty. What's also coming soon is a updated makeup routine because I've also been asked that and I think it's due time. I'm starting to do something different with my eyebrows as well as some things, some primers that I'm using differently. So I think that might be interesting for you guys. I'll be doing that pretty soon. I can't hold this camera anymore. It's too heavy. I'm just gonna be making some lunch, which is gonna be a salad. I've been pretty lazy these days. Normally I like to just buy like the chicken breast and season it myself. But for the salad, I'm just gonna cut up some romaine lettuce, some tomatoes, onions. I don't think we have feta. And then I just bought this like pre-done salad chicken and I'm just gonna chop that up and put that in the salad and call it a day. I'm just feeling so lazy these days. I don't wanna like do a lot of cooking. So you guys will probably not be seeing any cooking in this vlog just because your girl is tired like the cooking segments take i feel like a lot of energy just because i always have to move the camera and always have to show like everything that i'm doing so this week i think there won't be any cooking segments unfortunately but potentially next week when i'm feeling a little bit better and my energy is you know higher so yeah that's the gist of today so guys it's a lot later in the day right now i just finished up with a late work meeting so i just shut my computer down i've also gotten my bag ready for work tomorrow i just also tried on a new um like half bra strapless bra because i need one for some clothes that i want to wear as well as i don't have anything quality that really actually holds up my chest just like some little flimsy things that i got from tj maxx but this is some real quality so i bought it from amazon it's from the brand wonder bra and i'm not sure if you guys heard of it already i'm sure you have and so <laughs> tmi but this is the bra here and when i first saw it like i opened the package earlier today and i was like i'm gonna have to send this back like it looks massive like the bra looked huge and i'm like this is not gonna fit me and so i waited till basically all the way till the end of the day right now to try it on and i just wrapped it around my i wrapped it around my waist and i was like girl the bra fit me perfectly maybe even a bit too snug but the bra fit me perfectly like absolutely perfect and i am so blown away by the quality of this bra this wonder it's that's what the brand logo looks like but i'm so blown away by this quality i have not experienced a strapless bra with this this much like umph in my chest like it doesn't make me sag and it stays up but yeah so definitely do check them out hi guys and good morning i am getting ready for work right now as you can see i just primed my skin with the Meron skin prep pro i mentioned this a few videos ago and this is basically clown makeup like i mentioned it's sucking up all the oil in my t-zone so i've been using this religiously every single time i put on makeup now i'm just gonna go on top of that with my yours skincare this is just the day serum and um, I don't know what they put in this but it leaves my skin absolutely so matte for the rest of the day like underneath my makeup I don't know what it is about this serum that does that but it works really well to keep my skin matte as well as moisturize my skin um, the daytime is a two-part serum so this is just the second part this is a matte and moist moisturizer and then the first part that i put on was a drop of softness serum i absolutely love this what i do notice though is when i do use my moran um skin prep and as well the moisturizer it does leave these like white things on my skin which is fine because it always goes away after i put on makeup and the result is amazing because i have such matte skin so that's what i've been basically doing to prime my skin i won't give you guys a whole routine right now about what i'm doing with my makeup because i do plan to do an actual video about that um like i think i mentioned that in this vlog i'm filming like three videos this week and i'm getting confused where i said what for the day i don't know i feel like as my hair has been growing out i feel like it's getting so much more bouncier 
but I mentioned this when I cut my hair I feel like that was one of the best this camera is kind of getting heavy but I feel like that was one of the best decisions that I made was to you know just blunt cut my hair because I feel like it's growing back so healthy and so bouncy now the dilemma is if I should cut it again or try to let my hair grow grow out my hair I mentioned this long time ago but my hair was pretty long like when I was in high school and when I was in college my hair did grow really nice and long not down to my butt or anything but a nice length for myself and um, ever since I got out of college I never let it grow that long or rather it just stopped growing completely and um, it's obviously because I was dyeing it and everything like that but now that I feel like my hair is healthy a hair dye hasn't touched it in like a year I don't really put chemicals in my hair I really try to take care of it now I feel like should I give it another go to let my hair grow out and um, every time my hair starts to grow out after I chop it I'm like damn I really wanted to like to try it to let it grow but then I get bored really fast and then summer comes around and then I want like a new look and then I'll just probably snip it again but I'm gonna try to just let it grow out because I really want to see where I can take my hair but enough of my little chitter chatter I'm gonna head to work right now it's so kind of beautiful outside it's now winter winter let me actually show you guys um, my outfit so like I mentioned it's like winter winter it's freezing outside so I am wearing this like long sweater dress I recently posted it in a um, try on haul and I love this sweater dress it's so so cozy it's from a German boutique if you want the links then you have to go to that other video to check it out but I absolutely absolutely love this dress and like I said it's winter like fall was not even a real thing here fall just like blew by in a week and now it's like winter winter so I definitely need something as heavy as this um before I head out I just want to show you guys the perfume that I'm going to be using today I feel like with the weather it fits perfectly so I'm going to be using my replica by the fireplace perfume if it would focus this is such a unique smell on top of that the bottle is just so cute what I can describe the smell this smell of this perfume is like literally burning firewood literally burn like it smells like burning firewood plus a bit of vanilla I oh guys so i am back now from work it was such a long day like all i want to do right now is just relax eat some food sit on the couch and just like chill but I got a few packages. I'm really excited and I'm gonna do like a little unboxing bit right now. Again, putting you guys on to some really nice stuff. So I was just talking a little bit too loudly. Sven is having a nap and um, yeah, I just had to shut the door. Anyways, so yeah, I got a few stuff. So I got all of these packages um, in the mail. Let's open the first one. I feel like this one is from Amazon and it's supposed to be something to help me with like um, getting content for Instagram yes <laughs> I was right okay so if you guys end up buying this if you're a content creator and you end up buying this please just tag me on your Instagram because I want to just know if you actually bought this but I bought it because I thought it was genius it's like so innovative but it only I think it only works for content creators like Instagram content creators so I actually found this out from Instagram and it was about this content creator she was just showing how she would change outfits at a location and I was like oh I'm always wondering how these like girls are like having five different outfits at one spot I'm like where do you guys go to change how is that possible so it's basically this long raincoat material type thing you basically just put it on and it goes up to your head like this and underneath it you just change into your next outfit i got another order from lady politan it's basically the exact same dress that i'm wearing sweater dress so this sweater dress that i showed you guys earlier today i got it in black because i love it so much and when i say this girl ships fast like she ships so fast so yeah basically got the same dress in black the last one is some boots that I bought. Now this is a splurge. It's a little bit 
expensive, but I love this brand and I'll insert a picture or maybe um, an Instagram story that I posted with my first ever pair of Copenhagen boots. I got so many compliments from you guys and you guys were asking where I got the boots and it's from Copenhagen boots. Absolutely love this brand. But these ones compared to the ones that I have already, they're a bit chunkier. She's looking big. She's looking, but there's like scratches on it. Definitely, this looks like it was a return. Okay, so this is the boots, but this is in the off black color. It's actually really cute, but it does look big. It does look really big. All right, yeah, she fits. She's fitting snug. She's actually fitting like how she should fit, but it's chunky. It's like really overtly chunky. I don't know if that is my style. So there you guys can kind of see it. This is such an awkward position, but tell me what you guys think. I think it's actually cute. I'm just contemplating now bringing it back because there's a freaking scratch on it. They are gorgeous though. It looks almost gray. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. Hi guys and happy Thursday. Can you believe it's already Thursday? I've been doing some Christmas shopping because I personally like to Christmas shop like a month in advance and some stores have already sales, some not, but I did want to show you guys some stuff that I picked up, not per se the gifts because my family, they do watch this channel. So I got a package from Louis Vuitton. I never really used to shop at Louis Vuitton because I always thought they were just expensive, like I could just never afford them. So I just never even looked at their website. But now I am a working adult, a um, working woman, and you know, I can afford things now. So I just brought myself to their website just to see what's going on, see what the hype is about. This is basically it. I got the basic, I guess, monogram, the one that everyone has. Hi guys, happy Sunday. I feel like it's a long time no see, but we've just been really busy. We actually just filmed a video. There he is. We actually just filmed a video together. So that's what I was doing today. So that's why this part of the vlog is a bit empty. We've just been doing other stuff today. So we filmed a listening to German rap video, which I think should be out before this one. If not, I'll insert a little preview, little clip. I feel like it sounds familiar to other German rap that I've heard somehow on the radio. Is it gonna be like a zombie the whole video? I don't know if it was like a music video. It's catchy, the song. That was like not catchy. And even if the music wasn't good, at least the music video should have been like really cool. If it is out, then you will just see the link up here. So we were filming that today and then now we're gonna go to the movie theaters. We're gonna go see Eternals. And if you don't already know, I'm a huge Marvel fan. If you are also a fan, let me know. I just have one comment to say about this 
this movie and it's just like where were these people when like the whole world was about to blow up like they should have stepped in then that's just my little commentary but i'm interested to see their excuse and i think it's just marvel's way of just introducing another film which is not you know avengers so yeah excuse. let's see all right so we have to go before we're late i hate missing the trailers I hate missing the trailer, so we're gonna go. Happy Wednesday. It is right now pitch black later in the day. Um, it's about to hit 6 p.m. My workday is currently over and I am gonna go over to Bruininga. If you don't know what Bruininga is, it's kind of like a Macy's. They sell an abundance of stuff um, from designer to, I wouldn't even say low end, but basically just like a Macy's. And I'm gonna go there because I have been eyeing these boots. So just updating you guys, I did end up returning those boots from Copenhagen. They were just too big and Sven making me feel like I'm a farmer. He said that I just look like a farmer and that it just doesn't really match me. And then I just had to take a second and really look at myself in the boots and I was just like, yeah, okay. The boots look gigantic on me and despite my images and my pictures on Instagram, I'm a short girl, I'm just 5'3", and I just don't wanna look like Bigfoot with those boots. So I ended up returning them. I have been as well eyeing these other boots from Bruininger. They're in the similar price range um, but this one is more of a top color so I reserved it online and I'm just gonna go to see if I can try it on before I buy it and if I don't like it I'm not gonna take it obviously but I just want to see how it looks and I think it gives us a good opportunity to bring you guys along and show you guys a German Macy's Bruininger so yeah I'm gonna get ready to get out of here So guys, I'm back home now and I just wanted to show you everything I got. I'll obviously exclude gifts because that would just defeat the purpose of giving someone a gift if they can see it here. So the boots that you saw, I did actually end up getting and they were the same boots that I reserved online. Um, I tried them on, I got it in a size 37. They're a little bit tight here at the, the top, but they are my size and it wasn't like it was too, too tight. It was just the fact that I was wearing and really thick socks. I absolutely fell in love with these boots. They're a little bit similar to the ones that you saw in the beginning of this video, but these are more like gray. And on the website, they came up as, I thought it was a top color. I thought it was gonna be more nudie, more kind of like this color, but it is more in the gray color. But you guys, just let me, just tell me what you guys think. They're so unique. They're very different from your normal chunky boot. Yeah, I'm just really, into the chunky boot this fall and I think this is going to be an absolute staple. I only picked up one more thing. I picked up this hair perfume and it's from this brand called Carner Barcelona and it's called Tardis. Tardis? Tardis? So when I take it out of the box it comes as well in this little bag here. Here is the perfume. The top notes are Bulgarian rose, almond, mid notes, Virginian cedar, wood, celery. Celery? Did they really say celery? I did not see that earlier, but okay, they say celery. Base notes are musk and heliotrope. And the description is a tribute to peace and harmony of a Mediterranean summer evening surrounded by wheat fields, almond trees, and geraniums. What's a geranium? She 
used to that she hate me I hate me too I can always tell when you're lying Girl, you're see-through All these miles away, yeah I just wanna see you Baby, give me good face She hit me like seafood Remember when I saw you Hi, it's nice to meet you Know my old girl salty She just wanna be you I'm a dog, no Maltese I don't wanna leave you Once you're right here I just don't wanna mistreat you, no Cause I've been a douchebag before, baby girl I don't wanna repeat She just won't please me, she look in my eyes, told me why are you bleeding And I don't even know how to answer I take these drugs to my bladder She says she noticed a pattern, she say I look gorgeous, I tell her I'm flattered But I hate my reflection, when I look at you all I see is perfection I'm so depressed and I don't know the reason, just wanna feel better Hey, my reflection, when I look at you, all I see is perfection I'm so depressed and I don't know the reason, just hope I feel better Don't know the reason, just hope I feel better I just hope I feel better You said that you love me, don't know if it's still true Hit it when you're not here, love it when I'm with you You say you don't try 